Hi, I'm going to show you a numerical demonstration of block oscillations. Block oscillations is a quantum phenomenon where a particle in a periodic potential oscillates when a constant force acts upon it. To demonstrate this, I first need to explain to you some basic quantum mechanics of a particle in the periodic potential. Let's take the potential to be a simple cosine and write down the one-dimensional stationary Schrodinger equation. Here it is. The Hamiltonian has a kinetic part as well as another part describing the cosine potential. Let's use dimensionless variables, then the Schrodinger equation can be recast as the following differential equation, which actually happens to be called the Mathieu equation. Let's also, for simplicity, set the potential amplitude to be 1. The solutions to the Mathieu equation are, of course, the Mathieu functions, which are labeled by a quasi-momentum index k and a band index n. For each of the Mathieu functions, there is also an associated energy eigenvalue, which can be read off the diagram shown here for the three lowest energy bands. W is the bandwidth. Now we need a particle. A particle is a localized object with a shape that stays more or less unchanged with time. To construct a particle, we multiply all Mathieu functions in the lowest band by a Gaussian function of a certain width centered on a particular quasi-momentum k0 and add them together. The plot shows the absolute square of the resulting wave packet the cosine potential is shown in faint blue color, and the blue disk on the bottom marks the location of the particle's mass center. Now we can take the particle wave packet and simulate its time dependence numerically using the time dependent Schrödinger equation. There are several methods one can use, but I've chosen Fisher's method, which is simple and accurate. And here you can see how the particle evolves in time. It moves at a constant speed, which in fact is equal to the slope of the energy dispersion at k0. Let's add the constant force f. This changes the potential into an effective washboard potential. Then let's see how our particle moves in this washboard potential. It accelerates, then slows down, turns around, and in fact it oscillates. even though there are no walls on the right that the particle can bounce off. This is the block oscillation phenomenon, first described by Felix Bloch and Clarence Zener. Let's see what happens when we double the force. The particle oscillates twice as fast, while the amplitude is down by a factor of 2. Then we can look at the weaker force. Here the force is one half of the original one. Then we get an oscillation with a low frequency but a large amplitude. In fact, the block oscillation frequency is proportional to the product of the force and the lattice spacing, while the amplitude is proportional to the ratio of the bandwidth over the force. We can also make a wave packet out of Mathieu functions in the second band. It looks a bit different, but it's still localized, and, and uh, let's see how it evolves in time. Block oscillations are seen here also, but every time the wave packet turns around on the right side it sheds off a piece which just continues to propagate to the right. This is what is known as Zener tunneling. All of this can be explained by the band theory of solids, but you have to look elsewhere for that. Thanks for watching.